Well, hello, hello. Great afternoon, everyone. We're, welcome to a virtual coffee break with Tanisha. And today we are going to have the conversation that we wanted to have on Tuesday, but you know, the topic <laughs> went left on Tuesday, but it was a great, great topic. You all got to hear from uh, Mr. Burke and got some notes on uh, how to deal with those spouses that don't support you in the business. And he gave an amazing um, perspective that I think a lot of people needed to hear. And actually I had someone reach out to me and said that he needs to do, there needs to be a whole training with just him talking about that. What do you guys think about that? Should he do that? And then maybe, and then what I yes. do, it was good. Go ahead, Benita. Oh yes. It was awesome. Awesome. Cause it gave me a different outlook of why my husband felt that way. Um, because I wasn't bringing in nothing. I wasn't doing nothing. I was, I wasn't hungry enough. So now I understand why. Cause like when he said, if you wasn't bringing something, it was gonna be something that's gonna, gonna be on. So I was like, okay, now I understand why he react the way he do sometimes. But he still got me, you know, he got my bag. He's he's my cheerleader. So I understand. So I wish he was here before he left to go to work to hear that too. But I, like I said, I give your husband so much kudos and prop because not every man is going to say that. This is true. What I discussed with him was we'll probably do a couples training uh, with he and I, and we can go back and forth and, um, you know, it'll be on Zoom. So everybody who wants to get on can get on and ask questions and stuff like that. But I think that would be good um, to do. Miss Delta? Um, yes, I, I just wanted to say as far I thought I, I, the experience, I thought it was phenomenal because coming from, I learned something coming from the single aspect of the do's and don'ts, what to do. Sorry about that. That's my tablet going off. I apologize for that. Um, and it, it, it showed me as far as moving forward in my business what what to continually continually to do, but when I get to that level of when I'm at a level or or, or a, 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 you know just just steady building, I know what to do as far as how to move forward as far as when I want to allow somebody to come into my world where they need to be and are they going to be able to coming in at two who I am instead of being to, 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 to rip something away. So I learned something as far as being single and I can appreciate that. So kudos to your husband, kudos to, to the both of you, but definitely kudos to your husband because I saw it from a different, different perspective. Yes, absolutely. So yeah, we'll, we'll pick a day and we're going to have a couple's chat <laughs> about the business. So all of you will have the opportunity to, you know, get your spouses on, right? Because I know a lot of you wished your spouse could have heard that conversation. Um, but yeah, we'll do a couple's thing. We'll record it so that even if your spouses aren't able to attend, uh, they can always, you can watch the replay with them. So today we're going to talk about the week four. Week four, hopefully, I mean, it's Thursday. Hopefully all of you have watched the week four training video. So let's talk about your takeaways from week four training. Who wants to go first? <laughs> go ahead, Delta. Yeah. I, it, can, am I, can you hear me? I don't know yes, if I'm on. Uh, okay. My takeaway is to, it, it always go, it goes back to staying consistent in what you do. And you got, for me, I gotta, I gotta learn how to stay out of my own way, but doing the, doing the work mm -hmm. it re revolves around just doing the work and in doing the work, you got to stay consistent and you got to Things that's possibly in your way to keep you from doing the business, you got to remove those obstacles. If you, when you sometimes we have those obstacles that's in our way, we got to remove those obstacles to be able to move forward and do keep doing the work, stay consistent, and don't allow things, don't allow life to knock you off your perch as far as being able to to do your business and move forward and being successful. That's Absolutely. what my 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else want to share your week four takeaways? Denise said, learn the script, stick to the script. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the videos boot camp should be part of, ah, she says boot camp should be part of the onboarding. Hmm. It, it literally could be a part of the onboarding. Um, I'll tell you, I use that boot camp for when people want to press the reset button. They've been maybe, you know, when they started, life happened and they, you know, didn't get going um, and they fell off for a little while and they're like, OK, I'm back. And we're like, OK, we've been here, but welcome back. What I do is have them go through the boot camp because as you grow, you do not have time, especially and this is just from a leadership standpoint, you don't have time to go spend hours with people that you spent hours with when they first got started. <laughs> they, they, they needed to keep up because this, this train is moving faster and faster, right? So a lot of times I put people uh, through that boot camp. I take them right to the YouTube channel. I'm like, I need you to put yourself through this six week boot camp to press the reset button. Um, so that's how I use it. But yeah, it absolutely could be used as um, an onboarding for Planet Marketing. Absolutely. Miss Beverly. Hey, hey, hello, everyone. Um, some of my follow up from the um, listen to the video is definitely uh, with the scripts, you know, you know, finding that need, finding the hurt, really paying attention to what people are saying uh, so that I can meet that need and really invite them to an opportunity. So those scripts are, you know, just making them more of mine as I share an opportunity. Also, you we talked about social media, you know, just doing the follow up, you know, if I don't follow up on my likes and the comments and, you know, going to my checking my messenger, if I'm not doing that, then I, what am I doing? I'm just wasting time. And then if I'm not doing it in a timely fashion, I'm still wasting time because, you know, I'm waiting days to get back with people. That's not that's not going to work. So making sure that I'm having my um daily mode of operation and flowing with that. So to me, every bit that we're learning and the uh, with the videos each week, it just keeps adding on and adding on. You know, am I keeping my list? So now I have my list with me more relatively available. So even in the car, I need to write somebody name now. If I, if I got them likes, I need to make sure that I'm putting them people on my list so that I'm keeping all that, um, information in front of me. I'm keeping, I'm staying engaged. I'm, I'm creating my list. I'm putting more people in my pipeline. And then when I've got more people in my pipeline, I'm not just running through the few people and then really getting them, for lack of a better word, pissed off and tired of me calling. <laughs> I got more people in the pipeline so right. I can spread the love, spread right. the love. So phenomenal. Thank you so much, Tanisha. I really appreciate it. Director Burke, everything that you do. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for sharing. Um, Miss Lorna said, for me, it's to remember the script and don't get flustered. She says she had a missed opportunity this week and she's beating herself up. Don't beat yourself up over it, Lorna. Just like uh, Beverly just shared, if you're prospecting a certain amount of people a week, you're not worried about the one. When you're not prospecting enough people, you're going to stress over one but if you're prospecting 40 50 60 70 plus people a week you ain't even thinking about the one that got away right so you know don't beat yourself up over that miss bonita good afternoon everyone well um some of the ladies said what i was going to say like um go by the, the strip strip i can't say the word right Crip. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and really like study it because we can botch up something. And if you don't, you try to do it your own turn, even though you got to not make it look like it is a strip script. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, but, you know, really study it because, you know, actually I watched it about three times because it was so long and it was so much mm -hmm. that I had to keep on. I wasn't, it wasn't, Click it to me some of the stuff. So I had to 
rewatch, rewatch. I'm like, wow, this stuff got so much in there. And then another thing was um, how you said that before you even send them the video, you already clock in the appointment, get their number, get the appointment, then send them the video. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, and I had to listen to that. Oh, I had to rewind, rewind, rewind. So I could connect because I was doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. So I was like, um, you know, I'm learning from my mistakes when I'm rewinding certain areas. So then another thing was, I was, I was kind of, I was like shocked. Like, you know, when we put our posts on Facebook, never think about the ones we don't know or who we don't have on our list added to our list. I was like, wow, that just like took the cake right there. So it was other stuff too, but it was like, okay, cause I'm trying to do things, not saying little by little, but I'm trying to connect because it, it can be overwhelming for me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, that, that is so simple, you know, but my mind is getting more uncluttered. So it's like, mm. everything is coming to me. So that's I good. thank you for that because I know when you grilled me the last week, I'll make sure I was on it because when I did the three, I did the four too. So I was yeah. like, okay, this time I'm doing the four about three times because I that's how I learned we uh, are right. repetition. Repetition, so, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. So thank, you. thank you for sharing. And everybody, when you're watching these videos, you should have your notebook out. You should have your notebook out and then you should be taking notes. When something clicks for you and you're like, oh, that's good pause write it down and then play and then if you hear something else that you're like oh i've been doing that wrong pause write it down and then hit play you should have a whole bunch of notes a whole bunch of notes as we're in week four of boot camp because remember you're going to be leading your team you at some point you're going to be have one-on-ones with your downline and wouldn't it be nice to be able to refer back to your notes and say, yep, I used to have the same issue. Here's the correct way to do it. And anytime you're watching a training video or listening to an audio or you're on a Zoom or whatever, you should be studying and not just watching or reading. You should be studying. And when you study something, that means you're absorbing it so that you can teach it to somebody else. So it's not just for you, but it's, can you teach it? Could you actually, did you get enough notes and understanding from watching the week four training video bootcamp where now you can go teach your team those topics? And if the answer is no, go back and watch it again. Take some notes, but always, always take notes so that you could teach what you just learned to someone else. If you can't teach it, then you didn't learn it. You just watched it or you just read it. But if you can teach it, that means you were studying it, you understand it, and now it's gonna stick with you. The other thing is the moment you learn something, go apply it right away, right? Like Benita was like, uh, I learned that I wasn't setting the appointment before I sent the video. So like that day, she needs to go schedule a three-way call so that and take someone through that process so she can do it the right way. And then she'll be like, oh, okay. And then you just do it again, do it again. And now she's learned it. And that's how she'll undo the, the, the wrong behavior and replace it with the correct behavior because she learned it and then she applied it that day. But if you just learn it or you know, acknowledge like, okay, I've been doing that wrong and you don't apply it, you're going to continue to do it wrong because <laughs> it won't stick until you actually do it. Miss Karen? Okay. you Did you get my note about why I'm off, off camera? Uh, I have, do I have permission to be off camera? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay, ma'am. You, you good. All right, I wanted to say that this uh, week four was great. I did watch it twice, and you're right what you just absolutely just said about applying it, um, because I had to go in and and do those uh, visits, revisit my my posts, my posts, and and add those people to my list, and 
add them to, I, I just started immediately, like you said, applying it. If they reply to my post, I immediately reply to them. Thank you for watching my post. You know, you know, wasn't that crazy? And, and I just have to say that, um, and I know you didn't ask today because we kind of, we ran into last time, but I know Delta has a, um, a good news thing. You know how you always ask good yes, news yes. from what you said for the, um, good neighbor, the new neighbor, the next door neighbor post. Yes. And I'll let her tell her own story. But yes. I just noticed that whenever I put that, I say, girl, I'm going I'm to write exactly what you said verbatim. Because whenever I put something in like that, either a post, next door neighbor, my, my community thing, I don't really get a response. Or I get people like, oh, it sounds like spam. Da, 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 da. But, but I noticed when I put something that don't have anything to do with the business. Boom, 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 boom. Everybody is replying. So, okay, you gonna reply to that? I'm gonna reply to you with what I really want to talk about mm -hmm. because I can't even believe the response that I got over Delta and I was on our way to a, a meeting, a training or something, and we just happened to see a turkey in the city of Detroit on the east west side, just walking down the street. Actually, it was not walking. It was uh, eating a carcass and then it flew up on the roof and just like set its perch and I grabbed my phone and just took a, a video of it uh -huh. and I was like look at this look at this y'all do y'all believe this is this a turkey I don't even know what it is is it a turkey is it a what is it a turkey but she's and we were having dialogue she dialogue said no not a turkey because it don't have a gobble gobble uh -huh. and I said y'all would I wouldn't believe it if I would have saw it and then I put that on Facebook millions i'm not i'm exaggerating but at least hundreds of comments mm -hmm. about no it's a buzzer it's a turkey vulture it's this it's that oh yeah they they be in the city now oh, da, da. and i'm like wow so i responded to each one of those and that's how i got my sign up that that i did that i reported on tuesday and i have more in queue uh that are uh, on the fence and thinking about you know they they getting their money together or whatever but yeah responding to those posts work they Thank you, Tanisha Burke. So hold on, Karen. Ha take us through how you got someone who commented on a post that had nothing to do with business. How did you turn that person into a business partner? Okay. Well, okay, I'll do. Well, one of them was easy because when I went to to do, you know, I do it on on, on Messenger since it's their messenger, um, the Facebook. And I was like, thank you. I'll use one of those scripts that you you had put in the first one. Thank you for liking my posts. Um, and I said, you know, wow, that was crazy to see that and everything. And they said, yeah. So we did like rapport. And I said, and and one person said, yeah, I've been seeing. Them. I said, you've been seeing them too? I'm like, this is weird. And then we went back and forth. I said, well, how have you been doing? It's been a while, long time since we have talked. And she said, yeah, I've been doing this. I've been doing that. You know, when, I'm gonna say they were trying to get their um their uh self together because they wanted to to go back to school to because this is one of the teachers that I used to teach that I used to train go back to school get their degree so they can get a better job get a better paying job and I'm like ding 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 better paying job better paying job okay because remember we were looking for the need and feeling hey. it and I said so you're not making enough money that you're making right now in your position. And she said, "Oh no, not really." I said, "Well, uh, what do you what what do you uh, are you open to looking to do something else that won't take away from your position that may uh, help you make the extra money that you're trying to make?" She said, "Well, yeah, if it's something I can do." I said, "I think it's something you do, but only you know that. So I'm going to send you these two videos and see if it's something that you like. If it's something you think you would like to do, I would love, love, love to work with you again. You know, on this capacity because we work together as colleagues, as uh, well supervisor to work with you again. If not, pass it on to somebody else. It's up to you. But at least you need to see it to know if you need if if you something you want to do or not." She said, "Okay, send it." She sent it. She liked it. So she said, yep, I want more information. Got her on a, a, a video, because you know the next steps. The video, uh, the, the big picture. The, yep, the big picture, three-way call. Called Mike Gallon and said, listen, we got a three-way call. He's like, okay, let's do it. And Mike sealed the deal. I love it. Textbook. Yes. That's it. Yes. That's it. Yes, yes. And y'all see how it was personal, not scripted, right? She heard the need and it was like, ding, 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 ding. When you hear the need, you should hear the ding, 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 ding bell. 
You forgot your pen. You forgot your pen. Yeah, with my pen. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Good job, Karen. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you for sharing. Miss Delta, go ahead. I want I want to hear about what happened with you. There we go. Got it. Um, I had I take it back just real quick. I had been hearing through Messenger and on Facebook how they had not Messenger on Instagram, they've been talking about um uh, uh your side your side hustle, side hustle, side hustle. So I said, hmm. So I just formulated a, a post on next door and was talking about uh, your sideline uh, uh, hustle, formulated and put it out. And I got three responses. And then I ended up having, I think it was like 12, or maybe 13 responses who said they were interested. I immediately responded back to them, um, uh, back and forth. Some uh, want, wants to, you know, uh, uh, set up uh, travel trips and, and, and ones that, you know, are, that were interested. I immediately responded back to them. I, I'm still waiting to get a response back from them. But for the ones that I did, sent out videos um, and, like I said, talked to them and just move, moving the ne next uh, level forward. But it was just, I think for me, just kind of generic. I have been hearing about sideline hustle, sideline hustle. So I just took, took a page out of the book. And just as, instead of saying, you know, something else, I use the the hustle uh, 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 wording. And, and like I said, I, I got responses um, back from it. And I just responded to them. And I, I've talked to I've talked to a few of them, but I'm still waiting on, you know, I, I've sent out my number. I'm just waiting to get, you know, for them to respond back with their number and things like that and move forward. But I, I'm steady uh -huh. and, and the uh, communication going. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I love it. Good job, good job, Miss Gail. Hello, everyone. I just kind of wanted to piggyback with the what the business partners have been saying. It's about consistency, mm -hmm. and that's something I struggle. I've been struggling with up until I say I give myself the last two months. Mm -hmm. This last week, I decided to do a shut in. I wasn't moving from this computer. I mean, I was on social media, I was smiling and dialing, and it paid off. Last night, I MTG. Last night. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes! <laughs> Go Gail with that yeah. MTG. Tell I us MTG about it. Tell us about night. it. Wow, this is crazy. I was coming out of the grocery store, me and this other lady, same time. She had this gorgeous sweatsuit on that, so I had to compliment her on that sweatsuit. sweatsuit. And we're both walking through the parking lot to our cars, and her car happened to be right next to my car. And her basket was full, I mean, super full. So I put my trunk, put my things in there. I said, you know what, let me help you with some of that, because your basket is full. She said, oh, don't, don't think all this is mine. She said, I said, oh, I said, she said, I do Instacart. So she makes deliveries. So I said, tell me something. I said, how do you like that? How, how do you like that, doing this job? She said, I hate it. I said, Perfect. oh. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I said, she said, I'll walk up and down these stairs, going to people's apartments, carrying these heavy bags. She said, I am too old for this. I said, you know what? I can relate. I said, I worked at Frito-Lay for uh, uh, 31 years doing physical work. It's going to take a toll on your body after a while. You're going to break down. I said, you know what? I can't leave you leave this parking lot without telling you a little bit what it is I do. I said, but before I do that, I want to give you my business card. And I want you to take a look because I had the peak interest card. I said, I want you to take a look at these two QR codes in the back and I'm going to give you a call. So when it's a good time for me to send you, I mean, good time to uh, touch back with you. And she said, probably tonight around seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. I said, good. I'll call you about 7, 7.15 in between there. Get your time, get home, get settled, and let's have a conversation. And I called her back. She looked at the peak interest, uh, peak interest card, and she needed another exposure. And this was about, a, I said, about a week ago. Week or so she needed another exposure. I could have did a three-way, but I wanted to put her on the winning Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So last night, she got on winning Wednesday. Some of the questions she had, when um, Director Benson opened it up, you know, for her to ask questions, 
She said, I don't have to ask any questions no more. You already answered it through your presentation. I'm signing up tonight. Yeah. So I was happy. I was happy. Textbook. Yes. How easy. Yes. It yes. wasn't forced. It just happened naturally. Yes. And mm -hmm. then got it. Because the only thing that she was hesitant on is because after she watched the two um, QR code the videos on there, the big picture and um, Planet Facts, mm -hmm. she, I guess she started telling people, her family or friends, and of course, the negative Nancy, negative Nancy's, oh, this pyramid thing and all that. So she bought that up, mm -hmm. bought that up. And I said, don't listen to that. Don't listen to that. You said, get on this call, on this Zoom, and then you make a decision. Mm -hmm. So she yeah. got on it. And then she came over last night. So I had to sign her up last night. She, I said, I can come to you. You can come to me because she's about 10 minutes away. Mm -hmm. She said, I'll come over to your house. And as I was signing her up, I said, we need to get you launched. Mm -hmm. and then she bought up the pyramid thing that's going to be hard to tell her family and all that kind of stuff. I said, don't worry about that. I said, one thing you need to st uh, stop doing right now is stop talking. Stop talking. Don't say anything else about this business. Leave that up to your leaders to do that. Mm -hmm. Your job is to get them on the call. Right. But my question is, what do she say to these people? Because they're going to ask her, well, what do I need to get on the call for? What is what is this about? You know, then she going to want to start talking. So what is something should yeah. she say? Uh, I'm going there's to a script for that. Yep, there's a script for that. Okay. <laughs> See that. I'm going to post the script in the chat and you all can copy and paste it. But basically she, Gail, you want to help her make her list and you want to just, you know, work with her and say, who do you know that could benefit from this opportunity? Not who mm -hmm. do you think will say yes, but who do you think could benefit? What about the other people that are working two jobs that are doing Uber, Lyft, Instacart, you know, all those other, who do you know, write their name down. And next to their name, put extra income, you know, or for them, they're working two jobs. And then ask her, say, do you think people who have children could benefit from this opportunity? She's going to say, yep. Say, okay, write down everybody you know who has children, right? What about people that are retired or should be retired, but they're working because retirement's mm -hmm. not enough? Write their name down. So help her, give her those leads to help her make her list. And next to everybody's name, she's going to put extra income, and then next to that, one other reason of how it could benefit them. And okay. then I just posted in the chat, so just copy and paste that script. She's gonna give them a call. Hey, Melissa, how are you? Listen, I don't have a lot of time, but I wanted to reach out to you real quick. I recently started a new business project to make extra income because, you know, I've been doing this Instacart thing and it's it's just not working for me right? It's wear and tear on my car. It's wear and tear on my body. Um, and so I'm making a list of people to invite to my private business launch on Saturday at 6 p.m. I'm only inviting a few of my close family and friends that can benefit from the information being shared. And I thought of you because I know you have children. I figured you could use some extra income. Can I count on you to attend? Wow. Okay. Easy. Yes. All right. And yes. I did a whole, I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to post the link. I did a whole training video on how to invite for your warm market. Uh, I know Shamiko will probably find it faster than me. Two things Oops. are almost Sorry. certain about you. Um, it's in the boot, the 40 day, 40 night boot camp under the support videos. Uh, here it is. All right. And then I will share it. Okay. And I'm gonna post the link here in the chat. So Gail, go ahead and watch, um, that link how to become a professional inviter for your warm market and it'll go over that for you okay. All got right. it miss erica and congratulations on your mtg gail that is awesome thank you hey erica how are you we can't hear you you sound muffled and far away 
Hold on. Hello, hello. There we go. There we go. Now we can hear you loud and clear. I heard you on speaker. I'm trying to clean this bathroom of mine. Um, and th that's going to be one of my never again moments. <laughs> but, <laughs> exactly. I wanted to share my um, MTG. I have been feeling really discouraged um, just on both sides of the business from you know, trying to peak interest and, and feeling like people not really seeing the vision and then also booking travel for people and then them going and just booking it themselves. Mm -hmm. And so um, my spirit was down a little bit and I woke up yesterday morning from a, so from someone I did the three-way with, we did a, um, a, a three-way where they were actually able to see my director's back office and how she books travel for herself. And this was like a week ago and I woke up yesterday morning and she was like, I just signed up. I'm a travel agent now. What do I do? And I was like, wait, hold on. Let's get you onboarded. And it just a spark in me because I was feeling like oh my goodness but it just shows me that you have to trust the process you have to just continue to move forward um put it just give them the information people will do it on their time and then I had a woman that I found in a group I was just sharing that I'm uh, an agent I could share the information with people and she came to me, she was like, I'm already in the business. And she was feeling discouraged. And she is in the process of going into having surgery. And she was saying her husband does not want her to, to finish. You know, it's an extra bill for them right now. And I was like, oh, yeah, I got something for you, girl. I said, well, are you producing? I was like, because men <laughs> like to see the numbers. And so I used what we learned on Tuesday. And I was able to pour it into somebody else. And so thank you for that. Thank you for that information. And um, now I'm pumped. I'm ready to get the next one. Awesome. Awesome. Well, yes, for your MTG. That is awesome. 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 And let me say this. If Erica, would you say that you are very proficient right now with creating those uh, proposals for people? Or would you say that you're still kind of a novice learning? Um, I, I'm i learning, but I put a lot into my proposals. Okay. Um, but yeah, so the ones that I've been doing, I, I think they, they turn out to be pretty nice. My issue is I was doing a third party payment mm -hmm. and the person that was paying for somebody else, she didn't want to fill out the form. And so she just called and did it herself. And so... That was a little discouraging because I put in a little bit, I put a lot of work for that. So, okay. So, a couple of things. Um, anybody on here using IntelliSpark for their proposals? So, Erica, you could look into IntelliSpark. They probably have an online way for clients to do their payments i'm guessing they probably do but if not um look into travel joy now who's your upline director erica um it is kim i do have travel joy i use travel joy um it was just in this situation they had to get the payment on marriott's letterhead they, it had to be an authorization um marriott needed it on their authorization form because it was a third party payment it was somebody paying for somebody else's room oh. so they they had a hard time understanding that marriott would not accept um, it just from me they needed it on their letterhead so mm -hmm. you okay. know it's a learning okay. lesson you know <laughs> it is it is and i waived my uh, i waived my research fee because it was a friend and now now it's a, one of those never again <laughs> that was that was what i was gonna say next is if you feel that you know you're at the point where you know what you're doing um with these quotes and the time that you're spending in then definitely look at you know charging a research fee so that if they don't book with you 
um, you know, you get paid for your time. And I'm going to be very transparent. I have been struggling with charging my research fee um, with people. And it's like I had to, it's like I'll say, oh, I won't charge them. And then I end up spending all this time and then they don't book. And then I'm mad at myself for not sticking to my own policy to protect myself. Um, and so I had to, you know, kind of be a little flexible with it. And what I have settled on that helps me, Erica, is if they have booked with me before, I'm okay with waiving the research fee. But if you brand new, you ain't never booked with me before, I'm charging you a research fee because I don't know if you're going to make good on what you're saying. But if you have invested time with me and book with me, I think it's okay for me to waive the research fee in situations like that. So you'll have to decide for yourself, Erica, um, you know, what you're going to do. I recently had a college friend. I went to school with this guy, right? He reaches out, hey, you know, want to do a trip to the Caribbean, da, 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 da. And I said, what's your email? And he sent me his email. And then through Travel Joy, I have a whole email that explains what is required to book with Lux Platinum Travel. And it talks about the research fee and how if you book, it's gonna that money will be applied towards your trip. Um, but if you don't book, that money is going to be, you know, for my time. So, you know, once he received the email, he said, okay, he said, he said, listen, I'm going to get with my friends because I want to make sure, you know, who's on board, da, 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 and then I'll get back to you. So he respected it. He didn't be like, oh, I ain't working with you. Now, one of my neighbors, she snubbed her nose at my research fee and said she couldn't work with me if I was charging a research fee. And I was like, oh, so you don't think I should get paid for my time? It's okay. You find somebody else. I'm okay with that. Because to me, automatically, and that was a group of family, a uh, class reunion, which was going to be a lot of work. If you don't want to pay me my $100 to work on this class reunion for you, knowing that the cost, can, you know, the payment is going to go towards your trip if you book, then you're telling me you're not even really serious anyway, or you don't feel that it's going to happen. And that's okay. But I'm going to protect myself. So. And I, I will say that with the research fee, what I'm noticing, it will um don't be afraid to charge it because if someone is not willing to pay that research fee they're probably not really going to pay fifteen hundred dollars two thousand dollars for a good quality trip and so it kind of helps that's my, it helps to eliminate people that just want to come in see if you can give them a good deal and uh want to waste your time so exactly exactly i've learned that with the research fee yes absolutely shamika um, this is good. Y'all, I, I had to write notes down to make sure I stay on tag. <laughs> um, but I actually had to change my client, my travel um client I, inquiry form that talks about the research fee. And I'm not doing anything until I get that research fee. And I have been doing awesome with that. Um, I had some people reach out to me about some trips. They paid the research fee. I gave them the trip and they never booked it or they went and booked it on their own. That's fine with me. I got paid for my time. Um, one thing I do want to say, though, is I've been doing, I did another um, Zoom exposure. And so I just kind of want to tell y'all about the excuses that people come up with. It's, it's beyond me. So uh, this lady, I did a peak post, well, kind of like a peak post, uh, where, you know, I said, hey, I made uh, such and such amount of money for 10 minutes of research. You know, I'm doing the Zoom tonight, da 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 da. And she was like, okay, cool. So, you know, we was on the Zoom building report. I found out she got three kids, she got a, another business. Um, and so we was just building rapport. And then I was like, okay, so now, you know, we know a little bit about each other. I'm going to show you this video, you know, taking through steps. And so we, we watched the video and she was just like, man, um, you know, I used to do something like this before. And then she's going to tell me that, you know, I'm not really good with selling. But guess what she do for a living? So, she's an insurance, she insurance agent. <laughs> I just, I laughed in my head. I was like, wow. Okay. <laughs> um, so uh, what I have been doing, though, is at my notepad, I have for, because people is going to give you the same objections most of the time. So what I have in my notepad is, objections and the rebuttals that I'm going to say to him. So she said that 
I was like, I was like, okay, no worries. And, and trust me, I'm not a salesperson either. I actually run from those. And I was like, just think about how you you are talking to me right now. I didn't reach out to you to sell you anything, right? You reached out to me and said you were interested. She was like, yeah, that's right. I said, but no worries. I love, I love using this. I am not in the convincing business. And what I have came to find is that people make time for what's important to them. And what's important to me is this business and me getting my goals accomplished. And I'm looking for people who's willing to remove all excuses and, and win with me. So if that's not that you, that's tired. totally cool. Look, I you see it rolled off the tongue. <laughs> I love it. I know you were stepping all over her toes with those. All over it. And look, announced a new business partner one hour later and love to say she removed all excuses. <laughs> you pulled a Tanisha move right there. I so, love that. Man, and you look, know she was get... watching, right? Exactly. But I'm just like, people would just give you all kind of excuses if you let them. Yeah. So, you know, I just, I, I think she had to come to Jesus moment after that too. She was like, I oh, maybe, you know, I might have to look at it again. I said, yeah, maybe you do, but it's okay. <laughs> right. If you know of anybody looking to remove excuses, that's ready to start winning. Absolutely refer them to me. And I just moved on. Now in I that case, love it. I didn't do a three-way call because, right. you know, she said she was a three. Right. But I would like to say to the people, you know, when you talk in the prospects and they say, I don't have a question. I'm going to ask for the sale. Okay, well, if you don't have any questions, then are you ready to sign up now? Exactly. Can I get you started the now? Chat. And then if they say no, I'm still going to do three-way call. I don't care. I'm still get them on there because most times when the leader comes on there, now they got 21 questions to ask. So mm -hmm. I'd be like, you know what? You told me you didn't have any questions, and I totally get that, but I want to show you what you'll have access to in the culture of our business. So here's da-da-da-da-da-da-da edification. So um, you know, if they telling y'all they don't have questions, ask for the sale, or I'm still gonna do three red call. I don't know. It's just me. A word, the world according to Shamika, I'm still gonna get them on the phone. So I just kind of want to share that with y'all. <laughs> That's good. And I love your posture was strong. Sometimes you gotta take it away. Cause some people want you to chase them. Don't chase them. Take it away. Say, you know what? It might not be for you. I'm looking for I love what she said. I'm looking for people who want to remove all excuses and, and do what they need to do to win. If that's not you right now, that's okay. But if you know of anybody, refer them to me. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Miss Karen? Okay. Break, we can't hear you. You're breaking up. Can't hear you, Karen. <laughs> we can't so hear I, you. Oh, is it because I'm, I'm probably I'll come back. Okay. Uh, can you hear me now? Now I can, no? yes. Oh, okay. I was just making a transition from the house to the car. I just wanted to talk about that, the go back one. But yeah, kudos on you. I'm using that, Shamika, about that takeaway. You know, kudos to you on that because people do be playing. They be playing with you. We don't have time. We are business women. The, the, the director Burke taught us that we are business women. We run a business. We don't have time for this feminine heart. So what I what I wanted to talk about was when you were talking about the fee, the adding the fee. Yes, I do have that stipulation in my uh, uh, when I send them the the, the 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 form that you call that that they have and let them know that it's a fee. And if you book, it will go toward your like you said, it go toward your trip. If not, it is my administrative fee. But I just wanted to say, Delta Vacations, they they boost that the they tell you the their agents because the last group trip two group trips i did i did this delta vacation and the first one i didn't do a fee because i didn't feel like, I'm like well i'm getting commission you know it's a nice group it's gonna be a big commission it's okay but they was like uh you you can do it we they'll never know we put it right in their in their uh cost you know it only come up on your agent form it won't come up on their customer form it's just part of the cost you can just do it she said, I recommend you do it because it, it, this is going to be a lot of work. And she would never lie. When I tell you, those people kept calling me, okay, put put $20 on my trip. Okay, put $100 on my trip. So the, and I was like, oh, my God, I work, I work for this commission. And then she said, but that's your administrative fee. That's what you can do. And next time I said, I'm doing it. I'm doing it because, and the other thing I've learned, too, that I'm, I'm not going to just be taking those whenever they want to. I, I'm taking payments on the 5th. 
and on the 30th or on the 1st or the 20th or something in between, like just twice a month. And you save your little money and then put it on that if you want to do monthly payments because you can pay whenever. But don't come run at me because I don't know if they would do that with their other travel agents that they walked in the store with or whatever. But I, I, this is not only the, the only thing I do. I am a booker. I always say I'm not a booker. I'm a recruiter anyway. I've been doing this because it's the tr- only thing I really do is group trips. If it's a gym individual, go on to my site like you go on Expedia, like you go on Travelocity and book it yourself. Just book it on mine and let me get the commission instead of since you don't want it. Because if they are clients, that mean, I've already showed them the business and they don't want it. They are free. And so that's what I want to say. And Travel Joy, I used that before, but then I stopped. And because I wasn't doing enough booking to keep it going for that monthly fee. But we just did a little uh, comparison thing with Travel Joy and Travel Spark. Travel Spark is much cheaper and it does much more than Travel Joy. So if I ever do it again and use it, it will be Travel Spark. You mean IntelliSpark? Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. IntelliSpark. Yeah. yeah. IntelliSpark just came out. I mean, I haven't used it, but it looks like it has amazing features. I just, I've been using Travel Joy for probably six years now, almost seven years, and I have a team account, so there's a lot of people on my team that are in it, so I can't stop. But as part of my Travel Joy team, if you are a part of my team, Team Lux Platinum, and you want to sign up for Travel Joy, it's only ten dollars. I pay the thirty to maintain it, but anybody who joins under me as part of my team only has to pay ten. So it's not that much different, but yeah, I, I I haven't heard anything bad about IntelliSpark and it's only seven, you know, eight bucks a month. So, and the cool thing about IntelliSpark is that um, because it's connected to IntelliTravel, it makes it, they have that uh, email list to send out newsletters and stuff. And so you can't really do that with TravelJoy because it's not connected to IntelliTravel. Uh, Delta? Okay, now I don't want to act right. Can you hear? Me? Yeah, you just yeah. Now I can hear you. No, I just because I've I've never experienced it. You know, as far as uh, getting into a uh, booking a trip, and I just um because I was speaking with my my uh, senior partner Karen, and she was saying that how she was you know feeling about charging. I was like, well, yeah, charge because they do things. But my question is. I guess the payment out of how when you if you uh, if you book a trip you you go through setting up everything and once you book it or what have you and they go through all the changes and they say come come to the end they cancel the whole thing and you did charge say like a, your hundred dollar booking fee how do how do you go about as far as retrieving that or getting that payment for yourself? If you're gonna charge a research fee, they need to pay you that up front. Okay, got you. Okay. Because it's kind of pointless. You, they ain't gonna, if they cancel, they're not gonna give it to you. Right. And be like, oh, we're canceling, but here's your hundred dollar research fee. No, nah, <laughs> they ain't gonna do that. No, no, okay. no, no. You have to collect that money. So for me, I the way I have it set up is you don't even get my client inquiry form until you've been notified. I'm gonna send you an email explaining my research fee. And then you have to respond to the email that you approve or deny. If you approve okay. that you're okay with paying the research fee, then I'm gonna invoice you for the research fee. If I don't hear from you or you say decline, then it's over. Okay. It's done. There's, there's no more conversation. Okay. No gotcha. more conversation. But yeah, I've kind of um, held back even sending my client inquiry form um, until they tell me that they're willing. And this is someone who made private message me asking me about um, booking. Shamika? I would say too, um, I also put on my travel inquiry form. I think you're the one that said this. Um, are you working with another travel agent? And are you just price shopping? Because mm-hmm. I'm not going to waste my time on a trip you're trying to go on in 2025 and you just looking. Right, and, right. and one thing I do do as well, after I've done all that research, they pay me the fee and, and they still go book it for themselves. Guess what? You finna see your trip right on my page. Right. So, and I have people to reach out like, is that my trip? I say, you think it ain't what it is? It absolutely <laughs> is the trip that you wanted to go on. 
So okay. put it out if you did all that research, go ahead and put it out on your page um and, and market it to some other people that that's serious about it. Exactly. And what I did, um, I when I at first when I was charging people research fees, it, it was like, okay, you uh, $25, you know, on that last payment, I'm gonna give you that $25. And I had to stop doing that. Now it's no, no, you're it's going in Shamika's pockets. Um, <laughs> thank you for my time. I got paid. So exactly. I guess it depends on, you know, how, you know, how the research is done and, you know, your people. So I was telling you, I charged my own mama a research fee. She was like, you gonna charge your mama? I said, absolutely. This is a business. Do you want this itinerary or not? Because that's the only way you're going to get it is paying this research fee. I'm not, I listen, I ain't no family discounts over here. So. <laughs> <laughs> Say the family discount is $200 getting the business. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, this was a great, great session. Um, again, week four support No Limit Success Academy. Make sure, again, when you're doing your peak posts, that anybody who comments and likes, if they're not in the business, add them to your list. That is a running list. So just, I mean, you can go back to think about posts that you did last year, the year before, or as your memories come up if you see a memory from a peak post right a post that you know alludes to the business or time freedom go back and see who liked and comment on it if they are not in the business add them to your list and at some point on a sunday when you're going to grab the next batch of 70 people or 50 people to post to peak for that week they're going to be in that group that batch and now mm -hmm. you can peak them all right so this was great. Looking forward next week, week five. Oh, last but not least, I got two minutes. The 21 minute business presentation blitz that we are doing this week. Take advantage of the blitz. Uh, let me see, can I add the image? Shamika, you know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. There you go. See, I love her. I just, love, I don't know what I would do without her. She should be on it. Ah, I love you, Shamika. She just posted it. Love you more. This is tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. 20-minute business presentations. Several time slots to choose from. Your guests are going to see the... 2023 Pro Planet Project Freedom video, and then they're going to see the big picture video, and then we're gonna say, get back with the person that invited you. So they're gonna get the culture. And what's so, if you haven't watched that 2023 Planet Project Freedom video, I highly recommend you watch it. It is fire. Not That's only it. do you have the testimonies from you know people who got their um, awards and stuff, but on the front end and the back end, you got Eric Thomas giving his seal of approval for Planet Marketing. The number right. one speaker in the world is giving his approval on the front end and the back end. So they're mm -hmm. gonna get uh, the feel for the culture as well as the big picture video. And then at the end, we're going to say, get back with the person that invited you. So literally 21 minutes, your person is going to be exposed to the business. So please, please, please fill up and go back through your mobile app, invite those people onto the Blitz. Like I said, several different time slots each day. All right. So everyone have a great one and I will see you next week. Bye. Thank you.